Hi guys, welcome to Game of the Goons, um, and you're listening to a special episode where we're doing a podcast today. Um, so we've got, so unfortunately Grant couldn't make it, but we have got Wong, Santos, and Dan, who normally join us for our D&D sessions. What's up guys? Hi everyone. hi Um And then to, to start, I think the reason we're doing a podcast is obviously um, for people that follow the news that we've been... Um, we're UK based and we've all been locked down effectively so we can't meet up and do as many videos as we like so we're just doing an online podcast instead um, so to start let's talk about how the coronavirus is affecting gaming or how people are starting to cope with um, like connectivity uh, I'll just start off let's be honest um, it's just it's just been crazy like Ever since this coronavirus has hit um, the UK and everything like that, the other day we tried to play Apex, and you know Apex is, is already lots of people in it, but we just Lee just couldn't connect at all. Oh, I was having massive like it was it was ridiculous. He was just dropping out every so. Yeah, it's just there's so many people. Obviously, with so many people being forced to be off now, or coronavirus, the bandwidth and just the internet ability on just all games all multiplayer games apex call of duty fifa that's all gonna be like so laggy from now on yeah so i think a lot of us are taken into doing like so, like solo because of it. <laughs> it's solo games trying to 100 percent compete yeah, i'm just i'm just avoiding multiplayer games i i, I want to play them but I can't be bothered to try and fight through all the lag, so single player it is for the time being. Yeah, exactly. But it, but at the same time though, it's in being online and stuff. Like like it's it's not too bad because you can go on a PSN, you can have like a, a party chat, and that's like our only way of well, apart from that and and hangouts and it's sort of your only way of communication as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, but I agree with what you're saying, Lee. That's really the only way. But with PSN, at least you get to play a game with it on Hangout. It's just, uh, you guys, what we're doing right now, we're just talking. So <laughs> just, just look at each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> look at each other's faces. Because just when we weird the camera, I'm not even looking at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we have yeah, we can't, we can't actually with. even look at each other because... Me and Lee tried to do it with looking at each other, and the only thing that really happened yesterday with it was that it just kept on freezing, and like my voice was like repeated ten seconds after I actually spoke it. Yeah, I think Lee Lee's got some problem with the internet because before before this broadcast, we was just trying to test out like whether how, how would the camera is it? Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah, and then Lee, I I tell you, I tell Lee, like, hey, just wave your hand so I can see how far it's delayed. And then, like the next second, it was no like it was just his icon. It was like the video is not even showing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, really uh, bad. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so no, bad. it's just it's just with all this happening right now. Obviously, hopefully, not a lot of games will get like delayed and everything like that. Like, but it's bound to. Well, yeah, but well, they've, they've all been no, so many anyway. restrictions. Well, but, but already got a couple of games where they got delayed already. Yeah, it's like Cyberpunk. Was yeah, but that was that's yeah. because obviously PS5 is already uh, is coming out. That's the main reason for it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but because I'm sure that they want to make Cyberpunk, knowing that PS5 is coming out within the next two months, three months, they're just like, you know what? If we push it back now. It's the best thing to do. We could have a PS5 copy and a PS4 copy. Uh, but the worst thing is, though, because you, you still got to be. Bear in mind the people that we work on the PS5 game would have to develop a kit and stuff. They're now not in or have to work remotely. So if everything's delayed by a couple Even of months more. again. No. So you're looking, what, mid 21 now? Roughly? Yeah. Realistically. And that's if we. Well, if one good thing. Four months or so. That's true. One good thing is that at least Resident Evil 3 is not delayed, so that like Grant can get a start on that one when it actually something, comes to his house. Yeah. Something to do while we're trapped in. <laughs> Provided which, that Guam is which, delayed. Which, yeah, which I oh, believe that Guam going to do a live stream on that. He will do. He will so do. Keep an eye, yes, that is keep true, an yes. eye on that. Keep an eye on that for sure. 
Yeah. So uh, release date. Twitter is... feed like blew up about it was released recently. Um, I feel like it was a Switch game. Oh, Animal Crossing. Oh, it's probably uh... Animal Crossing. Yeah. yeah. And the two Animal games. That's... Yeah, there's two games that's just come out on the Switch, which is um, Animal Crossing, and with the same developers for a team. Uh, 17 that uh, created uh, Overcook is uh, moving out, which we moving experienced out, at EGX. Yeah. Oh yeah, moving yeah. out. Yeah, that's, that's a really fun game. game. That's yeah, that was so. That game was so. It was so funny because the thing is that in Overcook <laughs> you actually just help each other, but on mm, uh, and in moving out you can actually you, you can actually like not help each other. Like everyone was doing it when we were playing it. Everyone was doing something, but I was just going around slapping everyone on the face, so they dropped yeah, everything on the floor. Can. Yeah, you can slap people in the face. So and drop what is moving out? It's it's like a... so moving out. Oh yeah, you go. Go ahead, Lee. go ahead. Okay. Go, no, go, go ahead, Lee. Yeah, it's like um, it's like a game where you have to. It's it's kind of like the same sort of style of Overcooked. You have four players on it, um, and you have to go and get houses, take them out, or I'm uh, sorry, take out furniture from a house, and they have different obstacles, and or one one is like you collect chickens, but then. You can work together, but you can slap each other and stuff at the same time. So you can do it really okay. fast, but you also have players like Santos <laughs> getting in the way. That, that just sounds like Santos in the general. It just, it's just like, it's, it's more, it's not as stressful as Overcooked. It's but it's like, I think it's harder. If that makes but you're sense. fighting with the other players as well. Yeah, so your players can all work as a team. No, in a way, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's not stressful. Way. I wouldn't say I don't think it's... Only because we've only well, played if you're playing one with someone two... like Santos, you're being inconvenienced. To a whole <laughs> <lot of that. laughs> yeah, that is true. But I mean, in general, we've only played two. We're only able to play like two games because there was Couple quite a few games, people yeah. behind us. So we didn't actually see the proper stress on it because we only played. We kind of played the easiest levels, didn't we? In a way. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Is it easy? Because like you keep stopping everyone. <laughs> oh yeah, that was true. Yeah, I just kept stopping everyone, so it made everything so harder. I don't know. Is it easy or not? <laughs> Exactly. I've been mean, people just looking at me, just like, I've been mean, just looking at my characters. It's like, who, which one of these guys is the one who's slapping everyone? And then there's me just laughing. <laughs> and then they were like, uh, yeah, it's him. <laughs> we did try Overcooked, and then the developer, he did say, Yeah, that does sound about right. And he said, actually, we're not that bad. <laughs> Overcooked. Yeah. I was thinking, mm, he hasn't seen our channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't seen our channel yet. <laughs> the stress that we get from it. <laughs> nah, exactly. Um, and also talking about, um, so we'll go back to um, Dan's point about um, Animal Crossing. The reason it's so popular is because Animal Crossing allows you to kind of like socialize with other players online. You get to go in their houses <laughs> okay. and see what their I houses look like and stuff like that. So it's taken place of like what we can't do now. And that's why it's become really? popular. Yeah, exactly. The only thing I've seen about it is people complaining that their museums are taking too long to build or something. So yeah, people. But you have to wait a long time for your museum. Yeah, and then once you get your museum, anyway, I'll put, put it. I'll put it in short. Yeah. Animal Crossing is The Sims online. <laughs> well, <maybe>. children version. <laughs> oh, in no. a way, oh, I, it, so, it literally is. So you know, you that. meet new people, you go on and everything. So I mean, it just is, isn't it? A disclaimer that is Santos's I own think you've just, uh, you've... You just insulted half the gaming world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't no, help he's insulted it. the entire gaming world. He's insulted those who play Sims and those who play Animal Crossing. Oh, very true. <laughs> Two well, big markets playing in that one sentence. Honest, everyone, <laughs> everyone's playing Sims at the moment because they've got nothing else to do, haven't they? <laughs> oh dear. That is a great start. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's how it goes, isn't it? I'm just, I'm just making my point out here. That's no, all no, it no, is. It's fine. That's like, I understand. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, but in, but I think people like because it's the only way to sort of connect. I, I've seen like a big influx in like D and D as well. So like, um... well, on like World Fantasy, oh, yeah, 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 like Roll Twenty and um, Fantasy Ground was the other one. Um, and then people, there's been a big influx of people joining or people trying to. Even D&D and Beyond, uh, D&D Beyond, the forums. Now yeah, for well, people I mean, groups. it's not. It's not only. It's not only UK though. It's the whole world who's on the lockdown at the moment. So what else is there to do? You either game, you work out, or you start looking at new things. And D&D is something that goes way back in the past. 
So they're just like, oh, maybe a friend introduced another friend to it. That friend introduced to someone else. And it's going to get... Well, D&D's always been big, but with this lockdown, it's going to get even bigger. Yeah. You're right. You're, like you're saying, like, people can't... Um, yeah, people have to use D&D to connect and... and, uh, and then, then again, I think it engages people because it's something to learn. It's something that engages your brain rather than just sat, just watching TV and... Not doing anything. Yeah. Well, it does make sense because um, you get to a point where even playing on a PS4, a TV, or even reading a book, you get to a point where you just get, like, you lose focus on it, and then you might be like, oh, I want to do something else that isn't to do with any of that. And they go online and they check on something, what a, a lot of people are doing, and either they learn a new instrument, or as we've been saying, d d Yeah, and... I think that's one of the advantages to 5e especially, just because it's so much easier to pick up. Yeah, you don't need too... It's, yeah. it's, it's quite easy to pick up. You don't need too much um, for it, really, do you? You don't need to do any... Like, you don't really need like that much... You could do it with your imagination, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Find the right yeah. words first. In a way, in a way but, compared to all the, all the past generations... 5e like it's new it, it's new the systems are different as well and everything is just online like in the past people had to rely on books and everything like that and relying on other people to teach them how mm. to play D&D but with everything being 5e being online go online search D&D 5e like that boom it even has the starter guide on how to do everything yeah, the yeah, SI. So well, no, they started releasing some of the books, didn't they? As some of the core books is. Yeah. That is true, yeah. But the core books are a bit different. Like, obviously, yeah. it's better to have a core book right in front of you. Yeah, would, but because obviously, when you're support, doing but... it. Yeah, but a lot of No, stuff... no, no. I, I also feel that is the best way. Because if, like, just like earlier, like, if we, you just drop out of internet or suddenly internet doesn't work, you, at least you have a copy right in front of you that you can just always look at. Yeah, and to be honest, though, I prefer the book when, like, the player's handbook when you're trying to create a character and stuff. I find it easier to read. Yeah, uh, that's if you're using the base characters. Obviously, if you use homegrown characters, then that's oh, that's different. That's different. But... Like what? When, that's what, like when uh, Rob had his um, alchemist and like. Well, yeah, he said, but he had to <laughs> he had to rely on like like the PDF copy, and because it's not in the book, is it? So. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's... Yeah, and, and unlike the rest of us who all just use our phones with the app on, he's got that big bloody notepad. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. the app doesn't even have it doesn't have um, Chromus yet, does it? Well, it does now. It does, it, now. It does yeah. now, but it doesn't have the version he uses. So. Yeah, yeah, because because the time the yeah. time it was a playtest, and then they released that like an upgraded playtest. They they released it later. <laughs> But now you've got to switch all round to the new character or you keep the same character and try and make it work. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We, we made it work. Yeah, it still works, I think. Well, Dan, whenever we play, we try to make everything work, but it ends up being totally different to what we decide we wanted to do. Well, well that would probably be because of me. And uh, also Wong. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, it's, yeah, it's really you between both, me and Dan. It's, just, it's, it's a battle between me and Dan, really. Well, actually, I want to talk about each other. I'll, I'll talk about that because that that is really hard to DM actually. And, and bear in mind, we, so it hasn't come out on the channel yet. But the next, there's two more. To come oh, has it? Oh, okay. No, two more to come out on the channel um, before this is. That this will be released before the other two come up. But, um, there's like a situation in it where, where it becomes a lot of tension. It's very hard to DM. Um, the t- like tension between uh, Dan's character and Wong's character, which makes sense because it's true to the characters and their motivations. But it's so hard, <laughs> <laughs> especially when we didn't like. The- in a way, this party, this party that we have, does not have a leader. We say Grant is the leader of the whole <laughs> thing. I wouldn't say. Like that. I wouldn't. 
in, in a way, because yeah, Wong, Wong doesn't listen to anyone. L- L- Wong's characters has got um, his trait, which he does the opposite of whatever everyone says. So that doesn't help. Uh-huh. Dang's character has got no brain, <laughs> so he just charges in. <laughs> I'm well, a new character. Well, same as your so, character as well. Same as your new character. No, my new character. I don't. Uh, I, I don't. I'm not actually trusting to the group, and the group isn't 100 percent trusting to me because it's new. So obviously, I obviously, if it was my old character, my old character, I would be the same as Dan. I would charge him, but okay. I would also follow your instructions because of how we used to do it. And then see Rob's character. He just he's not the leader, but he's the one who settles everything down when when he shit happens. Happen. <laughs> literally in the group literally he's just like calm the hell down everyone <laughs> he calms it especially down especially towards Dan's character <laughs> Grunt's your talker um, but it does fit to his backstory so it's not not much been revealed in terms or little bits have been revealed uh, to his backstory um, so yeah. if I'm right the last episode that went up on the channel was the fight with Mika Horn yes correct correct okay so that. we're referencing a character that no one's met yet. Have <laughs> uh, you met? Oh okay, yeah, you wouldn't have met the character. Um, so it's, it's a no, new not in the video. Uh, no, it wouldn't be. New, oh yeah, because it's a new character in the in the. It's it's an, it's a new character for the oh, yeah, play, yeah, yeah. for the videos. If it's, even if it's not a character for us. Yeah, it's not character. That for is us. true. Yeah. Well, well, like Lee said, uh, like Lee said earlier, like video's probably already gone up by now. So people that have. But that have um, listened to it, they would know who you, your new character is anyway. So yeah, uh, it'll be it'll be after. But the thing is, is that I I also sorry, I also that? find out like doesn't matter what Dan using what character <laughs> doesn't matter. In a, well, in a fight. yeah, that's actually a good point. We just don't get along. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, true. Your characters don't get along, but I don't know. I don't think. We I mean, mind both of his characters. Well, yeah, yeah, but the thing is, both. Yeah, because both of his characters so like just go for it, that kind of thing, and then me is more about sneaky ways, like himself, like going straight. Well. Moran was meant to be a pacifist. <laughs> I didn't play him as one very well, but that's what he uh, was supposed to be. But, but I, the, the thing I said... <laughs> you played him better until you killed everyone. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but well, that's... me killing the bosses was an accident. No, I know, yeah. But, <laughs> but, but, then that, but that's why we said D&D is, like, you're, you're, you start off with a character and then you have personality traits, but that will all change as you go on because, realistically, yeah, Moran's supposed to be a pacifist. Um... And then, due to his experience, it's hard to be a he's no longer a pacifist. When... So then he has that internal yeah. conflict. It's it's hard to be a pacifist when you're dealing with that situation all the time. Eventually, you're going to kill a monster. Unluckily, <laughs> you've got all of them. But... <laughs> yeah, he was then... hoping someone could do the job for him, though. <laughs> well, yeah, but then that's kind of like what you have to do in DD, and then your character changes based on your experiences. It's interesting because because yeah. it's not a video game. It's not. It's not. Yeah, that is true. You're like more. I don't know. My new character is certainly hack and slash. I mean, you can describe. <laughs> while we're here, we can describe the new character for the um for the audience. Oh, yeah. Just a little That's teaser. True. You can describe him in like I a mean, bit about his personality about I mean, his point. He, he, yeah, he was, but he was he was briefly introduced though, wasn't he? I'm sure he's when in... he left the party right at the beginning. Uh, we, no, we, left I left party, the party at the end of the last session before we started recording it. It was uh, only um, uh, it, it was yours yeah, it that was, left yeah. on camera. Yeah, it was. I, I, no, my cat, my guy didn't leave on camera. He was kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't leave by choice. He was. You know, Where you're <laughs> concerned, we can call that leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. It's just quite like that. I now. have a whole story for that. It just depends what happens and depends how we go on. But there's a plan for that. Let's face it: if we find him tied up, we're not going to save him. Mm, probably not. <laughs> well, I mean, it's my it's my old character. He could probably get away somehow. Uh, he doesn't manage to make you're, things you're worse. From him. You were kidnapped by a, a red fae wizard. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I can't say I know much about them, but they're in the Tomb of Annihilation module, so I know enough to know that they're not to be trifled with. Yeah, exactly. They're, I, I, well, it's, it's, it's weird because the the module we're basing the campaign off is, a, is Hall of the Dragon Queen and Rise of Tiamat. And yeah. it's very... I've had to edit a lot or make it my own a lot because the way it's written is so hard to run straight out the book. Yeah. So a lot of like the stuff, I know like they should be powerful and stuff, but my law doesn't necessarily follow the law of D&D. Like the key points it will, but then I've had to kind of make some of my own up just to make it work. Well, okay. uh, like I said, I've read through the Tomb of Annihilation module book and I'm just... <sighs> You could probably spend a good 20 to 30 sessions just exploring the main jungle on the island and not make any progress whatsoever. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and that's, that's, the, that's the thing. It's like some DMs don't like travel. Um, and it depends on the group. But there's times where there is, should be travel and there's times where it doesn't need to be. But then you're right. Like You can explore, explore yeah, for so like- long. Excuse me. It's 30 to 40 hexes you need to travel across. I need to roll for three random encounters a day. Yep. And it only takes a day per hex. So that's what... That's, And then there's another encounter at night. So that's days, 30, 16, 19, four encounters. Eight. Wow. <laughs> that's like 120 encounters if you get an encounter on everything. And yeah. Based on if I roll, if I get do the encounters based on dice rolling, that's a high chance of hostile encounters. You could end up with four fights a You'll day. You end up dead. Yeah. You but then I guess that's too much annihilation. Yeah, well, that's the thing. It's very much not Dungeons and Dragons. It's Dungeons and dra- Dinosaurs <laughs> and a dragon. But you never know. We might well, well, that, that's something we look forward to. Yeah, it'd be good. Uh, I mean, that's something we really we're looking forward to because um, all this time, there's once where Lee has not played as a DM, but other times Lee's always been a DM. So that's what we're also looking forward to um, when you guys do get a chance to check it out. Um, Dan will be making a uh, well, he's pretty much finished on his um, own uh, one shot that we're going to also put up on the channel as well. Um, we can actually Wait, finally what? see Lee. <laughs> we're going to be we're doing what now? We weren't going to record it. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be. We were going to record it. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. We will record it. I will record it. I will record it. I'll record it. I'm not loading it. No. Well, we'll just see how it goes first because, because this, because, you know, Dan, Dan needs to get ready because once we finish, um, this, uh, this, uh, I, I love adventure, the assumption that we're going to finish ever. Oh, the campaign. Yeah. Well, we, <laughs> we we will finish this okay. yeah, the campaign. It will finish, but then we're just getting Dan ready so that he can get ready for the uh, Tomb of Annihilation, and when we start making the new characters for it as well, and doing all that, I'm looking forward to the Tomb of Annihilation as well. But regardless, so regardless, whether we record it or not, I am looking forward to playing just in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's just hope. Let's just hope that Lee's roles are better as a player than uh, a DM. DM all yeah, good. well, <laughs> yeah. <hope. laughs> You don't know that because Aussie's DMs pretty shit now. Maybe as a player, it could be like, <laughs> like just in general, believe like unstoppable. It's like natural. Well, I really hope free. it's not. Natural natural I've seen his character. I've seen his character row. stats. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I've seen his character stats, and I do not want him to roll well on top of that. <laughs> yeah, but but that's what I was saying. Like, I didn't mean to do it because bards get double proficiency. At, like, we're playing at level eleven, so yeah, level double, eleven. Yeah, we get double proficiency. And because of that, my stat, my my stats, like perception and stuff, are really high. I, I've got like I'm not very strong or dexterous, but I'm quite weak. Yeah, it wouldn't be such an issue if it weren't for the fact that there's very, not actually that many monsters of higher CR rating that aren't like single encounter monsters so you you're not going to have like a nest of 17 adult blue dragons for example <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah I'm, I'm not saying that that's something i would do but it's an example like you, the highest do. cr monsters are generally the ones that are on their own yeah exactly that's true but i think with cr monsters it, 
you don't you can have a CR monster that's one or two above you. Um, you can be at, so say say like um, a group of level ten faced a beholder, which is CR thirteen. They can sometimes they can easily win if they're a bit prepared. But if you're not prepared for a battle, oh, that, well, that changes exactly. the difference. You can if you're not prepared and not ready, it, everything just falls down. And some rooms, like I have to admit, some rooms screw you over. And Tomb of Annihilation, I imagine, would be like paying. Uh, Tomb of Annihilation, and I, I can I don't mind saying this now because yeah. I would say I would say it later anyway. You will need backup characters. Yeah. Because in the actual tomb, there are traps that will instantly kill you. Yeah, because I think that's a remnant. I think on like the first floor, there's a trap that does 10d10 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> well, to put that into perspective, if yes! that did max damage, that would kill Heskin. Yeah, so it kills a tank, basically. Heskin's a... Yeah. Um, Heskin's, a yeah, my my, barbar- my Dragonborn Barbarian, the new character. Yeah, exactly. So he's the tank. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. But the thing is that um, on Dan's one shot and all that, I think it's kind of a funny group because we've got four players who are long range and there's only one like close range character. Yeah, so for the... For... It's such a weird... It's such a weird... It's like... Lee's a... Like, you're a bard. You're using your bard, aren't you, yeah. in that one? But, but my bard... Like, you're using your... A quirk. He's a law, he's a law, a law bard, but he's a, a lawyer at the same time. So you can see what that works. Yeah. I'm still looking forward to but seeing you're not, how you you're play not, this. You're still not a close. I have, I have because we got a warlock. Yeah, we have a warlock, a a, 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 a sorcerer cleric. Robin Ro- sorcerer is that cleric, character? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, a and then, cleric. Well, Wong hasn't decided his character, I think, yet. But I think he said he might go for a long range character as well. But oh, we'll just see how, how that goes. <laughs> Is on that one. Um, okay, that's gonna make Lich, one of those I, rooms very I, interesting then. Grump is gonna be a, a warlock, I think. He's got a, a character who's gonna send you the backstory yeah. at some point. Okay. He's been quite busy this week. He's got the backstory ready. It just I helped him create the character. Yeah. Yeah. Before we got locked down. I'm the. I'm a, I'm a ninja. Yeah, Santos. I think I just need those bits of information from you that I asked for. Yeah, I was saying that. I, 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 I was saying that. What did you actually ask for? Passive perception <laughs> and a loved one from your character's backstory. Yeah. Okay. Is that oh, all yeah, you need? Uh, I'm, I'm, I could do with. Uh, well, I need your um, class and race as well. But yeah. Well, to be honest, I'll, I, I I'll probably really say. Think about it. Since I can tell you, Grant. I was thinking about. Oh, sorry, well. I was thinking about warlock, but and then. Uh, yeah, Grant's a warlock. Grant already become a warlock. Uh, I guess I try something different. I. Try by like a like a big guy or something like that. As a barbarian, you mean a barbarian or something like that? I don't know. Well, I haven't decided. <laughs> yeah, something like a or something That's or it. someone like who not attack at all, like. Uh, what, what, you are literally <laughs> drawn. He's a Currently, I've got one corner. I've got three DPS and a support. <laughs> yeah, I I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to helping the. Vin- no, no, I'm. I because I want to be. I want to be something different. Because obviously, like the first one, the first time I was like a magician, right? I was a wizard, and the second time I was yeah. like. It's both like more attack Rogue, type. Yeah. Yeah, a rope is, you know... Well, you want to so be a cleric then, just... like that, maybe. Or a, pal- no, a paladin's a bit tacky. You know, a bit of a tank. <laughs> so it's probably it not a paladin. Maybe a cleric? different. Yeah. It's probably your maybe best I bet. need to think about it. And then just pick and choose. Think about it. Yeah, spells have, and more support. We have, actual, we have actual people on the healing part as well, so that would be good. Yeah. But no, Wog... With all the cleric, with all the clerics and everything like that, he'll probably pick, he'll probably pick something like Loki or something like that as his god. Oh yeah, It'll be yeah, like the yeah. trickster or something oh, like that. trickster cleric. The one shot set That'll in a homebrew good. world, so he will not be picking Loki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> I need to come up with a god of um, for Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't got quite that far yet, just because nah. I don't know what everyone until I know what everyone's doing. I. And yeah, it's hard. The the homebrew world will only really need to take shape if that's where we decide to continue with things. So I've deliberately left the one shot open ended. 
yeah, in case people yeah. want to continue. Yeah, yeah, which is fair enough. I mean, um, assuming you survive I mean, to the I, end of it. Well, we'll have <laughs> character then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not going to survive the end of it. I'm a lawyer, bud. Of course, I'm going to die. <laughs> I, I can probably the wrong tell you right now, Dan. Like, you know, someone that's close to me and that I care for, yeah. I would probably say is my character's sensei in a way. Character sensei. Okay. Me, I, think, I, I made up a name for the sensei. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get a name for him. Yeah, I mean, you can leave names to me if you really want to, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll make up. The, the end of the one shot is in the town. I'm currently listed, and it's a town that you, theoretically you would have visited many times before. So I'm having to cut, list all the possible like people. So like blacksmith, general shopkeeper, tavern owner, like, just general residents, and then get names for all of them because otherwise I'm going to end up like every other DM online. <laughs> We're just trying to come up with a name on the fly. But well, that's like there's a there's a running joke in I was kind of in the second campaign actually now as well and the first campaign that a lot of the the Smithies are just called Smith or variations of Smith. Yeah. It's like what was like John Smith, Jane Smith, just because I couldn't the first time they come up I I didn't have a name so just like his name's Smith. <laughs> well, I mean that is where the name Smithy. Smith originates, so you're not wrong. Yeah, yeah. and then he went. Um, like, Welcome to Smith. Especially awkward. Smithy. I just made it the same for every blacksmith you come across, and they're all the same family. And that's how I did it. it, it, it you're right. Otherwise, you're just like you could spend hours writing NPCs. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's just it's more the factoring in. This is a town that you've been to. This is a town where you know everyone. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I need to be able to refer to people by name. Yeah, exactly. But that becomes important because you're like, oh, you've been here, so you know to go to this place and find this person. And then there's also the fact that we've got Santos in the group, and he will just ask who random civilians' names are just to fuck with me uh, always it doesn't yeah. Do everyone. yeah pretty much would it? <laughs> it's not denying it i think i think to say uh, i'm not denying it it's true it's what i do but i think the best thing what you should do dan is just name one random person jimmy like such a generic name be fine at least no, you'll always remember because then it. it would be like lance from uh, so people won't know this but from lance was a guy from the first campaign it was just a civilian just a kid civilian, which uh, Santos decided to recruit don't into just the call party. Him, don't call him a kid civilian. I, was, I'm glad you said party. I thought you were about to say recruit him into some kind of assassin's guild. Well, he tried that as well. but um, Well, he it, tried to recruit, recruit him into the, like, the Zentro or something. It basically made this guy a warrior, and he never left. He never left a fight until the very end when a doppelganger was facing him. And then Wong's character no, no, no. killed no, him Brit because he couldn't couldn't work no, out. He did leave. Was. He did leave. He did leave. He did try to leave. Like I trained him. No, no, he left the party. I trained him very well, and then um, I told him to follow. No, one of the characters that were, were after the dragon fight wanted to follow um, one of the characters there. Yeah? To good training, so we did, but he got captured on the way while he was training. That's why the Doppler oh, yeah, thing happened yeah, yeah, in the yeah. castle because he got captured through that. But he was so much better than anyone else in the party. For my character, <laughs> I could not roll for him he also with got a bow. Uh, he had a bow and arrow. He got natural 20 like four or five times in a row. Can I just say he, he was the he MVP? Four he HP. didn't die. He had four HP, and I could not kill him throughout the whole campaign. <laughs> that is how, yeah, he's only how like powerful really he was. I told, yeah, he's a civilian. He's literally a civilian with four HP. I told Wong not to attack the one in front of him, but then instead, what happens? He uses dragon breath and kills everyone in one process. <laughs> well, I, I was just like, I wasn't no, to, it was just oh. in the way. He wasn't was even called in Lance. The way. <laughs> it was in the way. Yeah, what was his name? What is? Name that was, was that was Larry. an epic battle for us. Larry. Larry. <laughs> Larry was Larry. Larry was his original name. Larry, but I now I feel him like Lance. I need to name the big bad something like Keith. Yeah, but it's quite funny because it, like his original name was Larry, and then Santos kept changing his name to Lance until he had no choice but to answer from it. He was bullied into answering a different name. <laughs> why? Why am I not surprised well, that it was Santos who did that? Well, my character 
was called Arthur. <laughs> so I, I wasn't gonna call him oh, Arthur. Oh yeah, you were Arthur. So I was gonna call him Arthur. And dragon. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I was actually I, I I actually used King Arthur as my. Character. Oh, you were, you were, of course. You were. Yeah, because 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 my um characters are brief saying that um I have to uh, one of the my goals was to slay the dragon. So I was like, this is naturally what I had to do. <laughs> it was a natural thing for me. It was quite funny, though. It's quite the whole situation is quite funny, and and it played it out at the very end. I had a subtle like because he never ran from a fight, and then at the at the end, there's a him and a doppelganger, and they're speaking to the doppelganger, and he goes, "You told the doppelganger to leave," and he went, "Okay, I'll go then." And then that's how Santos knew that it wasn't who it said it was. It was so subtle, and only he picked it up. Yeah, because final battle. I, I this I didn't I didn't bully him into it, but I made no, him I <laughs> into a stronger character. I made him into a stronger character by making him saying that no matter what happens in a fight, do not run away, and it just naturally because because my persuasion was so good at the first fight, like I kept on persuading him to become. Like more confident with himself, so I ended up knowing that he was not going to run run away from a battle. So when I said that question, the one who would run away would be the one, uh, who is not Lance. So that's how I knew he still died. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. But it was, but it, like, that was a good, like a good session though. At the end of it, everyone's a bit shocked and like, oh, what's going on here? Like, no one really knew what was going on. That's well, it was, it was, that. so, well. It, not gonna lie, it was definitely shocking. Number one, we went to yours to do it, and it was snowing, and we finished the campaign at four in the morning. So yeah, that yeah, is a big, big surprise for everyone. It snow, and we're like, oh well, let's continue for a couple of hours. And, and it, this is a time because we weren't recording, we could film for like we could play for longer. Um, yeah, that's it. We could still play for longer, just split up the recordings. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it, when you record, you, it's, you lose energy. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, it's, it's, I find it harder to record. To... It, it wasn't just that. Speech. It was more because it was near the end. I think ah, we just yeah, wanted yeah. to get out of the way. You, your books had already arrived. Oh, uh, yeah, to get out of the way. Well, yeah. Also, and also, we knew that. Um, uh, we knew it was snowing, so we didn't. We knew that we didn't have to go to work the next day and everything like that. Well, I was off anyway, and um, I think it was just um, it was just one of the days where we knew we weren't going to work, so we just ended up uh, staying around Leeds and just done it. But then, um, for some reason, instead of staying at Leeds, me and Grant decided to walk back home. Yeah, I don't know why. You could, <laughs> yeah, you it took us a very long time. Like three in the morning. I'll, I'll... <laughs> Yeah, you just say no. I was like, no. I was like, no, no, I can't do that, Lee. I'm yeah. just going to stay at yours. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. Good times, good times. <laughs> good times. Uh, yeah, it's been good to try and uh, catch up on D and a bit and continue the campaign a bit more. I've been a bit busy, so I haven't had a chance to catch back up. And now, with all this lockdown, I have a bit more time, so... We can start so, um, I'm, I'm trying in to general. figure out Roll20 to see if I can set up the one shot to be run through Roll20 because originally I'd planned for it to be happening at, at, like, in a physical presence. Uh, yeah, but, but now you can't. So. Yeah, and I'm confusing myself more than I'm understanding it with Roll20. So. I find Roll20 is quite good, but I think there's a learning curve. I think you have to have someone who needs to show you or... Yeah, um, it is online, and you can learn it. You have to just spend a bit of time learning. But apparently, once you once it clicks, it's easy. But yeah, well, it's sort of like most of it. I get it's. I'm literally just trying to design the dungeon, so I'm not having to try and get you all to do it from memory because there's a fair bit of combat to make it interesting. Yeah, to try and kill you all because I'm that kind of a DM. Ah, yeah, but then that's fair enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to kill all of you. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not trying to kill all of you. Just Santos. That's also fair enough. <laughs> That's also expected. <Right. laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. everyone, it's the one I felt deserves it. Everyone aims for me. That's why. It doesn't. I've done anything yet. <laughs> yet. I speak from experience. That is true. The word "yet" is there. No, yeah, I, I've seen people do Sorry? it in wrong ways. I've seen people. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I've seen people do it like different ways. Like I, I saw someone use Excel once as well, which is really interesting. Um, I could probably cool. pull that off, to be honest. Now, well, it, it, was, it worked quite well because it it was it was interesting because they're, they're like the scenario was basically like a war scenario, like you're being overloaded, like sieged. Um, and they gave us some like things that we could try and do or some ideas and we could, um, and had like, you could reflect beams of light and it was like, light was like affecting these enemies most. So we found like mirrors and makeshift mirrors and, and set it up and then you did it in Excel and said, okay, well now this creates a great beam, knocks all the enemies from this bit in a different way. It's quite clever and it worked really well. You can't do it for every dungeon though. Okay. But it was quite cool. Yeah. I think I think people just got to be creative now because now we're not allowed to see in like person. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, on a different topic. Yeah. On a different topic. Sorry, guys. Um, just uh, because uh, obviously with coronavirus hitting everyone at the moment. And um, so, what are we? Uh, if you guys don't know, obviously Boris Johnson had a um, uh, uh, pretty much told us it was a lockdown in a way on live TV. And the moment that it got put up, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff went online straight away saying that why are we only allowed? Um, why are we only allowed at, like certain times to go out and like certain rules to go out and everything like that? I mean, what's your, what's your what, what do you guys think about that? Like, has Boris Johnson done the right thing, or is I do you not agree with what he said? There's a lot. Of, there's a. It's pretty much a lot of people saying why in a way. Yeah, but but it, I mean, sorry, Dan, you go first. I, I'm hesitant to get political on YouTube. It's not, it's not something I'm particularly keen to do, but sometimes like you kind of have to. And in this case, we were effectively given the chance to do it ourselves we were told try and keep it keep traveling to a minimum try and keep going out to a minimum like, try and avoid going to um like, pubs and theaters and things i have to admit when we when people were told not to go to pubs i was annoyed by that but i work in a pub what, what do you expect i'm going to be annoyed by that but we were given that chance and then most people just kind of snub their noses at it and continued life as normal so now He's kind of had to put his foot down and say, no, Yeah, exactly. you're going to do it this way now. And it, sorry, but, yeah, but, yeah. but just, to, just to explain, the reason they do it is because uh, these lockdowns have to be in place because uh, you, you're, you're not trying to stop. You'll never stop the spread of the disease. And we're too far away from a vaccine. Um, the whole world is. But you can you can slow the spread down enough that you can have the resources to deal with the people that are sick. If people keep ignoring it, you, you end up a situation where we've got a capacity of beds in the NHS, our national health service. Um, and then sure. if that's, if two people go out and get affected at the same time, more people will die because they cannot be treated. Uh, the, the, the staff will have to pick and choose if that makes sense, have to pick and choose the healthiest people yeah. and then try and save them when yeah. they could have saved some of the older people if they had the time. Um, so that's all they're yeah. doing is buying time. And that's the, and that's the idea of the lockdown is to enforce for, it. For me, that I just, I just really think that he should do it even earlier. I agree. Because obviously, you know, because obviously <clears throat> looking at the number, even like just last week, that the number was like, it wasn't even... Obviously, some days is like less and some days more, but like you can see the number is almost double, double of number is going up and up every single day. And then it's just the case, it's not including like the death. Yeah, and exactly. If you're seeing that case is doing that, and then all those, all those other com uh, you know, uh, countries was doing something similar. Like, you no, know, for example, like, you no, know, uh, look at Poland. Poland's. They did it. I personally, I think they did amazingly good because they like, back there. I remember the first time it was like everyone got like m probably like more than hundred, and then like in Poland none. 
and then when it's got the like couple of like you know, first like ten cases, and then they start like stopping businesses, stopping school, and all this stuff. I mean, like for me, I think lockdown is not really too like. I get, I guess it's okay, but like I think the school should be closed even way back for the kid. I- um, I think that's it, just in general, I think I agree with what uh, you're saying, Wong. Like, sh- school should have been closed earlier, much later, and all that. Because, you know, even though some of our younger generation isn't as, as what I think they are, but they we still need them for the for the future. Yeah, just to say um, that um, it's, um, you can, if, even if you are younger, you, you can still get infected with it, and it can be serious. Um, not everyone. I mean, it, it can but, affect anyone. I think the young youngest that has died from what i have read was 20 18 no, now. youngest so is 18 now it, yeah oh 18 so if you think about yeah. it someone at at dan at dan's age has died younger yeah. thanks younger, younger. Younger. <laughs> two years younger than me oh no yeah you're 19 no? yeah. that's 20 yeah sorry yeah sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry dan. i keep forgetting you're older <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. So, I'm gonna just, you still play a DJ? It, it, it just, it, 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 numbers off <laughs> for your poor man. It just, it just felt like the My other day you, you were still when I when I was at when I, when I was still it working. Just you, you grow like I, um, you were still just ordering one. <laughs> <laughs> it feels weird. It just feels weird. But anyway, um, I'm shaking it, my head in disapproval. Saying. First of all. Oh, um, <laughs> first of all, I think what Poland's done is um, amazing. How how you've described it to me because I didn't actually know Poland done that kind of process. But it was the same with Denmark, wasn't it? Like they, I don't think they had any records of anything. But they went for full close down straight away, yeah, think, like yeah. full lockdown, think just to Grand avoid Canary anything. Well. Yeah, um, so the island of Grand Canary did the same. Yeah. So our uncle's stuck out there now, but um, he did the, like they did the same. I think yeah, but your uncle's always in Grand Canary anyway. Well, I know, but now he's definitely stuck there. He can't come back. Um, <laughs> but but overall, I think that like, those country or those places or whatever that you now because obviously, like is you can see what other other you no know, city was not the city but also country was doing having similar stuff. Like you know that that virus. It's not like a joke. It's not like oh, it's just going to die out in one or two months. You like they knew it's coming. They knew that like they got cases. There. Why can't they do something? I, I'm also I'm not saying that once it's happened, do full lockdown and stuff. But at least like you know, start doing bit by bit. So it's like we prepare for it. But like you know, because I personally I live in London. It's like you know. Even before Boris Johnson was mentioning, like you know, even not not even yesterday, but like a few days ago, people still you know on the street, like the tube. Or like I remember, like when the business was still open, everything is still literally like I think one two weeks ago, the tube was packed. It oh, was really? packed. It was like yeah, yeah I've yeah, seen a couple of pictures. It was like day. a heaving. It, it's just like normal day. It's just like normal days. No one even. I mean, I I see one or two but, people wearing masks, but, but like I no one wearing masks, think... no one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but Wong, you need to know one thing though, because obviously me and you, we're Chinese, and we're used to the concept of wearing masks and everything when when it happened, when the start, when especially when SARS happened in Hong Kong and everything like that, like putting mm-hmm. a mask on was something that we used to do, even when we went to the hospital in Hong Kong, we always had masks on and everything like that, but. I'm not trying to say anything bad about England or anything like that, but no, no, England no, has not. never had to deal with something that they have to put a mask on. If you work in a job where you put a mask on, England's never had to deal with something yeah, like that. So new. now it's people new. are slowly yeah. getting into it. You're not, I think... get of, you're not going to get a lot of people starting at the beginning, but that's just how it mm-hmm. is. And with so many people out yeah. today, there's a reason I reckon why people are out today. Um, because especially restaurants... And um, like any places, like today, I went back to I went back to work as well today. I had to, but that was to mm-hmm. make sure I shut everything down at the uh, like shut the fridges down, do the beer lines, and then like yeah. also like I, I had to. Um, I had yeah. to, I've got a lot of food, like that, but but forget about that part. Um, like when I went in to work, the, the office people they had <laughs> they they literally had to grab the clap tops and then everyone had to go so i reckon today everyone was just going back to shut down 
Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. So that's basically. why it looked quite packed. Yeah, it'll be quite I quiet think... from now onwards, I think. I think people start taking it more seriously. Yeah, because I think the mm-hmm. good thing that you mentioned, I was ab- about to mention, so I think overall, obviously, government doing their things, like, is fine. But also, I, I think what will happen is the people, you know, the, including us, that they don't realise how serious, you know, this virus is like because obviously like 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 santos was mentioned like you, they never experienced something similar obviously like you know in santos experience in hong kong in china yeah so we, we, we kind of know or those is not exactly the same thing but like it's like we know how to deal like, with virus obviously we can yeah we can yeah exactly we can see the data it's, it's we not... can see the number every every day is going up so I think it's also the people SARS, SARS. not real, realize the seriousness. Yeah, the Hong Kong SARS was dangerous. It was a difficult situation mm-hmm. for the whole, whole of Hong Kong, Hong Kong to be honest, the whole of China, yeah. Macau and everything like that. It was very dangerous for them. But we kind of learned how to d- deal with it as crazy because this is a worldwide spread compared to SARS was. Widespread is dangerous. Mm-hmm. As yeah, so it's spread it, around the it's world. Technically, it in order, so it, it, they contained it. I, d- I don't know why it's more contained. Yeah, this is a worldwide world killer, though. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Literally, at the moment, isn't it like so, almost yeah. every country it, it in the world has deaths like, associated with it? I think so. I think there's very few that haven't yeah. been infected. Yeah, it's true. So, um, I mean, if you're listening to this, guys, like all of us here agree. Do listen to Boris Johnson's words. Like that man. It's the only time you'll ever hear me say that. But yeah, avoid the but yeah. this, this time it's, it's... listen to like, the government. Yeah, like I, I, I sometimes I'm listening to Boris, and sometimes I just think that he doesn't say a lot. But this time, do listen to him. That man, when I saw him on TV yesterday, his face looked absolutely shattered. You can see that he's been working from the morning all the way to one or two in the morning. Also, that man has got, his girlfriend has got, has just announced that they're pregnant. If you think about it, he probably doesn't spend as much time with them uh, anymore because he knows that how dangerous this is. So, if you are listening to this right now, guys, just stay at home and just yeah. Yeah, find wear a mask and just try, try and isolate yourself as much as possible. I know it's boring, but just... Yeah, do listen because it is protecting, it is saving resources. So when you, when if you, God forbid, no one gets ill, but then there's people there that can treat you and will be able to treat you with the resources that are available. But you only get do, that. Do you have any? If sorry, what's that? Sorry. Another thing do that you I would have like any insight. It's bad. It's like the the issue is you can't. People are ill for other reasons as well. So people are ill for like um, cancer, cancer, and other actually, um, like treatments, heart problems, lung problems, and everything. Yeah, like, like that. Yeah. Just so people go to hospital. Yeah, and they can and they can be saved. But if people ignore the rules and you overload the beds, people will be treating the COVID patients because. It, the effects are faster, so people put more resource in treating them first, rather than treating these people yeah. that might have a bit of a yeah. so, th- more longer term diseases, but could still be saved. And you can't treat them, so you are taking away resources. You have to follow it to minimise the, um, or just, you don't overload capacity of our health service. Mm-hmm. I think the only other thing I if you listen to add me. is time. The only thing I'll add is the coronavirus is not caused by the beer corona. You can still drink corona. <laughs> I've, I've, I've seen in shop supermarkets people are, are, leave, are buying everything but corona, and it's just like, why? It's not caused by actually, the corona. Actually, talking about that, Dan, it's not only corona. Um, try and help bounty the chocolate bar like there's so many stores which the bounty chocolate bar is still has got the whole section by can itself I, can i just say it's just because it's bounty <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I like the bounty. 
That's irrelevant. Now, but still, that come really on. Just to show that all, all those things that people don't normally buy. Well, yeah, but that's it. People who run out of food. Yeah. Well, can I just also say there's not a food shortage either. So there is a supply of food. So people need to panic yeah. buy. I'm, I'm down yeah. to like, I'm, I'm down to like mm-hmm. nothing left. I've got like two meals left and I have to go to the shops to get some food because I've only got a one bed flat. So it's not big enough for me to store all that food. People are getting over, over yeah. much on this. Like toilet rolls, don't go crazy. Think about your whole, I like you've been restricted that. now. To buy toilet roll, you don't have to buy so much. Just buy enough for yourself and maybe your family member. Like a pack of nine for me. And I currently I'm living with mum at the moment. She's here in, uh, in England as well. A nine could be probably two two months probably. Yeah, it can last okay. us that long. You don't need to start part unless you're on un- unless you you're just continuously in the toilet for twenty four hours. But other than that, like there's Sounds no like way you that when you, you work with us. Hey. Yeah, that's that. That, that, that is true, though. That is true, and it worked out really well. <laughs> yeah, that's just me in general. I have <laughs> used someone no as an example with... here, and I'm not going to name any <laughs> names, but there's someone I work with <laughs> who's bought, I think it's like five hundred, like five hundred rolls of loo roll. Oh, wow. You never need that I, many. I don't understand. No. I, I never understand. unless you are a wasp and you no. live on paper, you don't you need see... that many. You see, that's the thing. It's like I don't understand why it's, people are going uh, crazy yeah, about toilet much. roll. Like, if, for example, yeah. for food, that I understand. Like, if people are going for pasta, fine, because it's food, right? That you eat that. But like, why toilet roll? Why? It's, it's not like you don't even get diarrhea from the virus. Yeah, it's like so. I was going to say the same thing as you. It's not. It's not a symptom. It's. <laughs> it's a cough and yeah. temperature are the main ones. Dan, just asking, said person, is, is that said person planning to sell it or just use that 500 bucks? Um, I don't himself, know. We were, we were planning an elaborate heist into their house. <laughs> I mean... Guys, just to let you know, Dan and Rob work in the same kitchen. So this is possible that, that, that anything is possible when them two are together in the kitchen. They all plan <laughs> so, Yeah, that, I, I'm not surprised if they talk about heist. <laughs> In D&D and out of D&D. Something on this, <laughs> this corona, the coronavirus is that, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, say well done and give my thanks to all the NHS staff that's working non-stop and everyone that has retired from from being a nurse or doctor to go back and help everyone. Like, we all know someone that works in, uh, works in this one. So... Whenever you get a chance, you see someone that's working for NHS or... Um, we haven't quite decided yet. I'm going to try and keep uh, some sort of semblance of schedule, um, as we don't do normally. <laughs> but, um, yeah, thanks for joining. Remember to uh, leave a like, subscribe. If you subscribe, click the bell button to get never notified of our upcoming videos. Keep updated on Facebook and Twitter pages. Um, and join us next time. And to give you a little teaser, we'll be talking about our favourite um, channel, uh, favourite series, um, favourite playlists, or favourite episodes of um, the channel. And we'll sort of go from there. We obviously will talk about a wide range of subjects. So see you next time. Okay. And guys. Make sure to share it on easy. Facebook and Twitter and everything else as well. Yep, sorry. It's later. Bye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice catch. Hopefully. You get that pesky spider that's been trapping us so much. There you go. Oh, you even got a trophy for that. And about time as well. That was actually really tricky. Hopefully. You get that pesky spider that's been trapping us so much. There you go. Oh, you've got a trophy for that. And about time as well. That was actually really tricky.